Is Ed Nugent here or what? Just kidding, that's our awesome Second Amendment dude, Ted Nugent. Sorry he's not here now, maybe later. We're at the American Tactical Booth, that fancy SHOT Show 2012. Totally off the wall booth review. Not planned at all, true or false, doodle. Totally not planned. Walked through the, walked through the booth and I was like, who are these guys? It wasn't dawning on me that these are the importers for the GSG 1911. Also, the, G the German sports guns, MP5s. I said, what the heck, let's do a booth review, man. We're here, it's now, show closes soon. Hello to Mr. Christopher. What's up, man? How you doing, man? You have a lot riding on your shoulders for this. You ready? I am ready. All right, we briefed you, right? Briefly. <laughs> the rules of the road here at uh, ATI, right? Is uh, that what you go by? Yep, that's Kinda. true, ATI or American Tactical. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the blocker doing his job, man. <laughs> totally did his job. That's Chris. Yeah. And if this isn't cr confusing enough, this is Chris. This is Christopher. And actually, that guy over there, that's Chris as well. This guy's Chris as well? Yeah, we got a whole host for Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Chris, you go by last initial, no doubt, right? Uh, I just go by Christopher. I was the first Chris, so I got Own it. Own it. You're Christopher. Got it. Let's jump into the guns. This is an impressive second kind of cool thing. A replica, let me get out of shadow here, the STG-44. Look at the presentation, Doodle. It's what do you think? It's pretty awesome. Isn't that just cool? It, like that. it looks right, like that that's what the Fallschirmjäger would be issued right there. They opened up the crates off the German, deuce and a half. Talk to us, Goose. Uh, well, this is the uh, the new STG-44 from German Sport Guns. It's a 22 caliber long rifle. It's all metal. The thing weighs about 11 pounds. What? Yeah, the Sturmgewehr was the first assault rifle used to try to take over the world, so we want people to try to take over the world with a 22 <laughs> right here in America. Well, and it's 11 pounds. Yep, when assembled. What real it, wood, real metal. What? Let me show it real close, guys, so you can see it. Due to lighting duties, yeah. hit it. What is, um... I'm trying to think what the weight was on the STG-44. It was heavy, wasn't it? It was, it was like 10, it wasn't it? It was like 10 to 11 pounds, yeah. It was a heavy gun. Yep, so we kept it as true to form because that's what our people out there asked us for. Well played. Look at the furniture on it. Now they Second kind of cool, guys. And they will be shipping in these wooden boxes. I'm going to show you the color. Oh, I love it. The smell, of it is just excellent. Like I said, I'm not joking. The presentation awesome. on this is perfect. Totally. Uh, there's your MSRP on there. I would guesstimate Street 420, no, 475. Uh, possibly, yeah. That's Maybe not that low. Under debate, but we have set this, uh, the retail price at that $600 mark for the consumers out there. So they're getting what you see here, the whole package deal, okay. at a really affordable rate. That is a cool gun. Doodle looked at it, he's like, that, I want that gun. Just, yeah, totally do. Just for fun. Uh, I hope it's reliable. Very much so, actually. We shot the heck out of it at the uh, media day the other day. I'm sure those videos are starting to circulate out there already. Yeah, no um, doubt. All day long, so all metal Here's your too. magazine. Doesn't have any polymer on the interior or the exterior of the gun. How many rounds on that mag? Uh, this is a 25 rounder. Okay. We'll also have it in 10 rounders. There you go, that's STG-44 from American Tactical, new for, actually, there you go, summer 2012. So that means we'll see it right around January 2013. Usually. That's generally how it's playing okay. out here at SHOT. No, actually, we may even have them in a little bit earlier. We went with summer for the show so that we could uh, actually give ourselves a little bit of cushioning in case we missed that date. So. so you're padding it a little bit. A little bit. All right, on to the MP5-ish wall. This isn't really an MP5, and as you guys can see, there have been some design changes from the MP5 look. The front sight's different, the texturing's different, the side of the receiver's different. If you guys don't know, he can't talk to this. Well, I can say that there were just cosmetic changes. The gun itself never same. actually changed functionally. Same old, same old. Yeah. All kinds of variations. I hear good things on this um, gun. Yeah. That it's reliable, that it's accurate. Absolutely, right out of the box, actually, most people are able to get really good groupings without having to do too much adjustment. Um, and I mean, really, just our supply of it speaks for itself. You know, we've never slowed down despite the changes. We're still bringing in thousands of them every month. They're just flying off. Oh yeah, we have them also available in new polymer lightweight receivers. They're about three pounds lighter. Really, you yeah. don't have that on this, on the, Thing here, do you? Uh, this do is one. Of this is one of the lightweight ones right here. Let's check it. Versus. Whoa, your dude! Check that standard out. Standard weight. Oh wow. For, okay, so this has a meta uh, metal receiver. Yep, that's hot correct. metal receiver made out of recycled aluminum cans. More than likely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's hanging. Loving it. He's hanging. Doodle, which one would you go with? So hoist that other one too. Yeah. 
and not we, only the weight is the difference, but the price is the difference. The lightweights are coming in retail-wise about $80 cheaper than the metal ones. Really? Okay. Yeah, so we're seeing heavy distribution now on the lightweights. They're going to be showing up in like Big Fives and Cabela's box stores, things like that. They're going to be Check flying. Check out the little side insert. I'd probably go metal. That's what I'm thinking I too. I think if I'm doing a 22, I want that heft because I can afford the, it. it. does have I like to feel it. better. Yeah. What? That's Nothing cool. fancy. You like lightweight. Well, honestly, between these two, this is just has a higher quality feel to me. I like it better. And by the way, notice you can get pretty much mimicking the MP5 any variation you want. Kind of. Got more behind you too. Kind of. Let's check that. <laughs> Got the pistol version. Oh the, yeah. And the SD version. So. Okay. Now, if a person wanted to do the proper paperwork, could they put a stock on these? Um, yes, actually. If you do your, do your SBR paperwork at your form one, you can put a stock on them. Yep. And all they do is pull this pin off and. Well, there you go. Put yeah, one of these on there. Put one of these on. This is my favorite stock for the MP5 it. right here, by I'd the way. I'd probably get this one. Yeah. You Love need it. to shoot that. Well, you shot the 1894. I shot the 1894, and I did it well. <laughs> so let's not forget that. <laughs> Doodle talking smack against Nun Fancy. I love it. All right, so there's some other variation, pistol variations, and the uh, S, uh, the SD version. There you go. As well. That's what I was talking about. There it is. To totally mimicking the U.S. Navy SEALs gun. If you ever saw that movie, nice. Uh, kind of a long double action crisp pull. It's, it's. I wouldn't say crisp, but it's a long double action pull on those GSGs. Uh, yeah, it's, they did try to mimic what they originally had on the MP5. So I mean, trigger style, kind of the same, but I mean, still not the real deal. But fun for a 22. Okay, Christopher, let's check out the pimp wall. What do you oh, say? Yeah, not a problem. What pimp? Okay, that's a 22 chambered AK lookalike, yeah, and you're saying for 2012 what? Oh uh, well, this is also by German Sport Guns. That's a 14 carat. Um, oh, what the hell's the word for it? Nice. 14 carat uh, receiver that you have there, and uh, walnut stock grips. Um, Your stocks again. have always been really nice on oh, these yeah. GSGs. When you go wood, I'm saying. Absolutely, yeah. That's all Italian craftsmanship on the woodworking. Really? Here, so, yeah. Beautiful wood Can't sets on there. Now, retail on something like this, even though it is real gold, still coming in only around 570 on the street. Real so, 24K gold. That's right. So, you know, you'll see these all over, all over the ghetto. So you, so you got to drive by in the hood. This is the one you want to go with right here. Drive by. It's Exactly. Honestly, it reminds me of the Jubilee AKs Arsenal did because they did a silver, they did a gold line. I don't know, not my thing. Some guys may like it. <laughs> and this is a funky coloration of a gun. I'm getting ready to show you on this far wall. Yeah. Christopher, our blocker, it's clear already, bro. Your job is done. <laughs> Here we go. It's actually nice because the show's it's winding so down nice. and it's cleared out a little bit. Well, he does it with authority. He does. You're doing great. Look at this gun right here. Uh, I really wish I would have talked to this gun, guys. I'm being serious now. Keltec Sub 2K view, uh, review. I will talk to it in the High Point 995 review. This is a competitor to both of those guns. It's called the JR Carbine, and it comes in various calibers. Uh, yeah, the Just Right Carbine, not an import, actually, one of our domestic products. These operate off of Glock magazines. Um, their overall functionality has been fantastic for us, a new big product for 2011. We've got them in nines, 40s, and 45s. They retail between about $600 and $750, depending on the caliber. Okay, can I give you a little bit of a design preference that I personally would love to see, and I think thousands of my viewers would as well? Sure. Okay, I did check it out. I hoisted it at a, a local gun store, Gunny's, there in Utah. I wish this rail was thinner. It's very wide. It is a wide rail. We have talked with the manufacturer about that, um, but we don't actually make the guns. We just sell. Cool. Well, let's, and you'll see the comments on that as well. If let me tell you, in a perfect world, if this had a Troy industry style alpha rail like that one we're going to show here in a minute, mm -hmm. that really slim, clean, with no quad, attachable rail, so the user has a smooth interface threaded barrel. So Actually, the, the new models do all come with a threaded barrel, oh, as well oh, as we ditch the flats on the barrel so that people I didn't can see chop that. them and SBR them. Nice. Okay, yep. so you're halfway there. Yeah, we're getting there. Or just make it, will it take AK or, uh, I'm sorry, AK, I said AR-15 rails right now? No, actually, it is all proprietary. Okay. The manufacturer makes the whole rail system themselves as well. Okay. One of the other nice things that a lot of people don't realize about the JRC is that actually the action and the chamber on them are completely ambidextrous. So if you're a lefty, this gun's been designed for you. You can shoot this thing without having shells hitting you in the face. That We have kind of a lefty thing going on in we SHOT are. Show. We're covering a lot it's of cool. lefty options. Yeah. this year. 
That's a huge win. How about trigger groups? Can I throw in an AR-15 trigger in that? Uh, no, it is, again, it is all proprietary wah, from the manufacturer. So, but we're still developing the line as it there continues to grow, so you never know what the future's gonna have. Watch the comments on this video, Christopher. They'll, you'll, my guys will weigh in with hey. their preferences. I would like to see a thinner rail, mm -hmm. AR-15 commonality, and if it's 100% reliable and accurate, I would be a fan. Well, feedback, good or bad, is still feedback that we need. <laughs> This <laughs> mine's all bad. It's very lightweight too, guys. That's a JRC and it comes in 940 and I think 458 SOCOM. I made <laughs> Nine, that up. 940, 50 cal. Glock magazine as well as yeah. 1911 magazine. You can throw well. in that 33 rounder in there. Oh, yeah. Booyah. Not where we're from. We're from New York. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, a lot of the people were talking about shot from Massachusetts. A lot of the cool stuff comes mm, from no. crap East places. Coast. Oh, and also. So it's paying the tax bills over there, but. The good people of those states can't own it. Being, being, being from a restricted state, too, we do make them for restricted states, so we got them for New York, we got them for California. Just right carbines. Uh, how are they selling, by the way? Fantastic, actually. They really picked up for us in 2011, especially after we started offering the round barrel with the threads on the end. That's what I was going to say. You, The TB is a huge advancement. Give me a thinner rail. I'm sold. There you go. For a PCC, all the stuff I've said about PCCs, my philosophy video still plays. There's some tear gas guns or yeah, whatever the hell those are. Launchers. 37, not 40, so it's legal. Uh, there's a couple AR-15s are developing, guys. We got, These aren't ready for prime time. I'll just do a quick drive-by. Um, what you might want to do is weigh in on the comments of which ones you would like to see from American Tactical. And here's my two cents, and that's all it's worth is two cents. Actually, 1.5 cents if you are to run the calculator on it. This version right here. Huh, imagine that. Yep. Running a Troy Industries, uh, probably an alpha rail on there and give me a mid-length gas system. You got a Troy stock on the back? Yep, all Troy platform parts to it on, on top of our base uh, Troy ATI. Troy battle sites. ATI this, 15 platform. Give so. me a 16 inch version of that and an 18 inch version. Uh, mid-length gas system I'm and a really nice trigger in it, Christopher. I'd be excited at a good price point. Great, of course, yeah. It is something that we are, again, we're developing. Some other we're using guys. SHOT Show to show some various options, but definitely feedback is good. This is the first time we're actually building our own AR-15 platform, gonna be known as the ATI-15 platform going forward here. But yeah, this particular variation here was actually designed by uh, our purchasing agent who develops all of this stuff. He built one of these for himself, and we liked it so much when he brought it in, we decided to start building them too. They'll also be coming in the dark earth color. Nice, yeah, you do that in FDE, all the components we just talked, well, what you got here, just FDE. That's a win. Uh, where are the components coming from? How good are the internals? Um, everything is manufactured 100% USA. I mean, we get the components from AR parts manufacturers all over based okay. on quality versus price so we can keep our price points low. Right, um, there's always that. And all the manufacturing, of course, is being handled directly by ATI, so we back up all our quality with all of our warranty and service. Excellent, talk to us about your AKs downstairs okay, here. Yeah, a couple of years ago, actually, I got my hands on some, issued, uh, some unissued Bulgarian AK parts kits. Of course, we had to chop the receivers and the barrels because of the stupid laws regarding not being able to import full AK-47s. So we brought in boxes and containers of all these parts, circulated them out, and then started building our own milled receivers or stamped receivers, ER Shaw barrels, and doing the assemblies, and here you have our uh, AK-47s. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad do these AKs suck? Uh, well, you know, that really depends on your actual production level. We've had some issues, but it's helped us develop our uh, research and development program. I'm so laughing at myself again. The stamped receivers, though, have been going fantastic, and price point is really good on them, actually. Dealers are only paying about 400 bucks for them, so... Okay, so it's an aggressive price point AK. Absolutely. Uh, feedback from these has been what? Guys like it? Uh, guys do like them. Uh, the main feedback we've had is that uh, because we were utilizing an outside source company to assemble them for us, they weren't assembling them fast enough. Oh, uh, really? So we took over the production now of our own AK so that we can control pumping out many, many more because I got thousands and thousands of these kits to build. So it was just a production problem? Pretty much, yeah, but that's going to change in 2012. That's kind of a good problem to have I mean, well, because you can fix it. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, but it's still Ask not good Keltec. to not, you know, yeah. make your customers happy. It pisses people off in the yep. long run. Well, we'll see them um, more right. this year. So there's some AK options in the comments, guys. Well, I told Christopher to monitor this video, and maybe you can tell him which version of these you'd like to see from American Tactical. I'll tell you this, the Black Rifle AR-15 market is brutal. Oh, I know. We've been brutal. involved with it for, uh, for years with other manufacturers. We've decided to get into it ourselves, though, because we want to help bring the market down for as far as uh, price points while still having the quality that ATI is known to distribute. 
Fair enough, dude. Yep. Okay, here's some other colorations. We'll just do a quick flyby on this. I like this one myself. I do too. Yeah. I love that. And that's kind of a different receiver. A little bit, yeah. What up with that? Actually, to be honest with you, everything's so new with these right now, I really can't tell you. Okay, no, fair enough. I love honesty. We love honesty in TMP, man. That is excellent. Nice colorations there. AR-15 samples. Here we go. GSG 1911-22. Are they team peers? No, they're the owners of the company. That one's actually These open. guys? Yeah, they're cool. I'll snag it. These guys are the owners right here? Yes. What's up? The manufacturer. Well, the manufacturer yeah. You're one of the manufacturers? Man, yes. Fancy. How you no, doing, David? Great. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey Christopher's doing a great job. <laughs> giving us a review, and this is Paige. Yes. Hello. Well, now you're on the Net Fancy show. Are you okay with that? No. No? Good. <laughs> you briefed them then, I didn't told, you? I gave them a little bit, yeah. Well, they're yeah. ready for it. First All thing right. he said is she needs to change you into bikini. I told them there was no time. <laughs> so they're cool. They're vetted. Awesome. Now, owners in what way? Well, owners. We, we are representing the manufacturer. Let's put it that way. Fair enough. All right. Well, do you have anything to do with the production of these guns right here? No. no. These ones here? The, these <laughs> ones are USA made. Talk to us about it. Do you mind if they steal your thunder for a sec? Not at all. And then we'll have you talk about that real quick. They're really good at telling you about their pistols. All right, yeah, David, take it away. There you go. These things are made in California, actually, and they're made right in our facility. They're uh, a polymer gun. We, they actually, what's unique about our pistol is that they come with two different triggers. There's a double action only trigger, which is this one right here. That has, it, you can see how it sits out like this. Yeah. It's striker fired. Uh -huh. And then this one right here is our fast action trigger. And it has a mag free release. What we do that's unique is that we actually our barrel seats lower on the hand than most pistols like this, which gives you less muzzle flip and it's very accurate. How many rounds in nine millimeter on that gun it's right nine, there? It's a nine millimeter. It comes in ten rounds and fourteen rounds. Okay, so fourteen if you live in a free state, not California. Yeah, if you actually look at our literature, it actually tells you that if you live in a free state. <laughs> You get fourteen Called rounds, it. and there's the one instead of the uh, communist. Nice. Country. The yeah. communist countries, you're limited. Sorry. Wow, I've, ne I've never seen this before, Doodle. Have you? I haven't either. FMK 9C1. Very confusing name. You dudes, you got to rename this. You got to name it something cool. I mean, who knows that? The FMK 9C1 Gen 2 pistol. No, you don't think that's it just cool. rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it totally does. Absolutely. Here's the FDE version right here. Yes. Oh, right. look at that. Yeah, now, notice the engraving on it. Constitutional there. Second Amendment yes. engraving that's on there. That's actually the Constitution. Yeah, we have the the Bill of Rights engraved what? on there. What's God the we trust. Please don't aim towards face and pull trigger? Why would you guys engrave that? <laughs> Just uh, actually, kidding. We, we have uh, thank you U.S. soldiers on the side. Excellent. Proudly American. I think I've seen your advertisements. Really? I think I have. Were you advertising Shotgun News or something? Uh, uh, I've seen them seen somewhere. A story or something like that. We actually haven't advertised. Uh, I, I'm confused. Get, yeah. I'm confused. What do you think of that, Doodle? I like Scale it. one to I'd ten. To if it's reliable it. and very accurate, would you like it? Totally. What's your I, price point? Price point is three ninety nine ninety five. Is that retail? That's retail. You, oh, get, the, you awesome. get a case, two magazines, seven. seven Hold on, I don't want to show you any more page. Okay. Price point. Tell her. Okay, three ninety nine. Just kidding. So no, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Let her do it. <laughs> it comes with seven interchangeable sights and two mags with it. Also running with it. Comes yeah. with this box that we make in our shop as well. Yeah. Here. Cool. Uh, I'm stoked on the price. Can, can, he, can she tell you about the interchangeable triggers? Yeah. Go ahead, as uh, long as it's not boring. Okay, so yeah, you can... <laughs> Come on, stay with yeah, me. Yeah, she's going to make it boring. <laughs> <laughs> so interchangeable yeah, triggers. Interchangeable triggers. It um, takes down just like a block. Here, I'll show you how uh, the mags are. I yeah. like that color, that shade of pink, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not too bright. It's not obnoxious. By the way, it blends with that carpet in the background <laughs> oh. almost perfectly. And it matches my yeah. rubber band there. There you go. So I um, so just change it out. You just poke out these two little pins here, and you just drop in the new trigger, and it's really easy to Remind the viewers assemble. why you'd be changing out the trigger. What am I doing? Okay. That's, it's what you've addressed at the beginning, I believe, right? Yeah, well, yeah, so you have the double action, oh, which is great for concealer, which is a long trigger pull. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a little bit under eight pounds. Yeah. They actually have some mag out safety, but for the person that wants more a shorter pull, a lighter pull, they know when I want a fast action. Okay. <laughs> why do you need a double act? Why do you need a paddle in that if it's a long double action trigger pull though? Well, we like to have that on there just to, just for an actual added safety feature. A extra safety. So we have the mag out safety as a safety feature. So that okay. if it's and also it has I a, hate that feature though. I can't lie. The, the magazine disconnect if I don't have a magazine in there, dude. Come on. 
You know what? What? Then we have the right pistol for you because then you just intertake that trigger out, you put this trigger in. And it gets rid of it? And guess what? It gets rid of it. But the gun can shoot without the magazine yep. in it. Yeah. Ah, Excellent. okay. So we, you we had an answer cover. for that one, brother. <laughs> So we I got put both. you on the spot and you delivered. <laughs> Thanks. All right, we got to keep going here. That's the FMK. What's the name? It just rolls off the tongue. Nine C one for Gen three. Two. Gen two. <laughs> Rolling off the tongue. That's uh, retail. So street. I don't know. Two ninety nine. Retail is three ninety nine ninety five. I know, but street. What's it going to be? I don't know. Three ninety nine ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. All right. Good job, guys. All right, see you Back later. to Christopher. Forty fives. No. Take it away. Uh, the forty fives. Uh, uh, these are the uh, FX45 series uh, 1911 pistols we've been importing from the Philippines for about two years now. Uh, price point guns, but high quality manufacturing. All hammer forged hardened steel. Available in a lot of different configurations depending on whether you want a cheap pistol that always works or an expensive pistol that always works. That's a competitor against, I don't know, uh, value 1911s like the Rock Island Armory, right? Um, yep, yeah, yeah, there's actually three, uh, three manufacturers of 1911s in the Philippines. There's Rock Island, there's Metro, and then there's Shooter's Arms Manufacturing. These are Shooter's Arms Manufacturing. The quality is there. We've seen it just from the way our sales have doubled over the last year in these particular firearms. Excellent. I'm sorry guys, I'm not familiar with this, but from what I'm seeing, He's right for the price point. Remember that the price point is very critical. You can't ask for a, you know, a I don't know, a custom 1911 uh, at this price point. But I don't know. Looks decent. I'd have to shoot them and really shoot them a lot to know. Oh yeah, well, we really shot them a lot, and that was why we decided to pick up the line. Selling good, you said. Oh, fantastic! Just flying yeah. off the shelves. That's the big seller right there. The three and a, three and three eighths inch barrel. We call it the Titan Blue. Retails at about oh well, five twenty. Okay. Reliable? Absolutely, right out of the box again. All fully tested too before they're shipped over. Excellent. Hope you liked it. That's a nut and fancy project talking with American Tactical Imports. Christopher, great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, great guns. Yeah. I'm impressed. There's several guns here like that. The pistol caliber carbine, that one down there. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And your GSGs, they're fun. They're selling like crazy. That's this STG. Thank you very much. Pretty sick, man. Hey guys, thanks a lot. We're signing off. There's Paige. Hey. There's thank Dave. You, very much. Good meeting you. you bet. That's the FMK, whatever, whatever it was. It's, <laughs> You're rolling I'd off the. Gen 2. Gen 2, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Fancy, see ya.